हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर वेरी यूजफुल रिपोर्टिंग ऑटोमेशन स्पेसिफिकली डेमोस्ट्रेटिंग हाउ टू क्रिएट विंडोज 11 कंप्लायंस डैशबोर्ड एंड जनरेट अ रिपोर्ट with an email subscription using task scheduler instead of task scheduler you can use an automation run book to send the mail you can also use power bi to create a dashboard and track the windows 11 upgrade progress as many of you already know microsoft has officially announced that windows 10 will reach its end of life by october 14 2025 this means it's a critical for organization to prioritize the transition from existing windows 10 devices to windows 11 many organization have already begun this process and if you have not started windows 11 update yet please begin as soon as possible to avoid last minute rushes so windows 11 compliance dashboard and reporting system i am introducing today play a very critical role in helping us track and manage this transition effectively additionally it help us to identify the outdated and obsolete operating system present in our environment providing a comprehensive overview of the entire infrastructure this information empowers us to take proper action as needed this report is essentially for making a strategic decision and ensure a seamless transitioning to windows 11 so before we begin let's see what we will get after implementing this solution to track the windows 11 update progress with this solution in place you will have access to a convenient email subscription this subscription will provide windows 11 compliance dashboard and report on daily basis or as per your schedule This will gain insight into the overall status of your device environment which includes the total number of count present in your environment the number of device already running on windows 11 and those have not yet updated to windows 11 This solution also calculates and display the overall windows 11 compliance percentage Furthermore you will be able to view the operating system wise percentage breakdown of all the windows devices available in your environment for an example you can see that there are 3800 devices running windows 11 covering 76% of your environment we can see that the windows 10 version 22 h2 and 21 h2 which are still in support you will receive information about their end of life date the number of device on this version and their percentage share in your production environment Similarly you will receive the same information for other devices that have already reached their end of life and their percentage share in the production environment Additionally you will receive a report as an attachment enabling you to take further action based on the provided information So right now I am on my client machine and the very first step in the reporting automation is to create an application in the Microsoft Entra admin center portal So to do this we have to go to the Microsoft Entra admin center portal and within the Microsoft Entra admin center portal we have to go to the application and within that we have to select the app registration then we have to click on the new registration and then we have to provide the name of the application so i am going to provide intune reporting app and then we have to click on register now the app is created successfully and then very first step is to provide the api's permission to do this we have to click on the api permissions and within that we have to click on the add permissions and then we have to click on the microsoft graph and then we have to click on the application permission make sure that we select the application permission and then we have to provide the api permission so i am going to search for device and then we have to click on the device and make sure that device read all permission is selected 
then under device management application we have to click on the device management apps read all permission and then third permission we have to ensure that we have device management configuration read all permission then we have to select the device management manage device permission and it should be also read all permission only then we have to select on the device management service config and here also we can select the read all permission then we have to select on the management RBAC permission and again device management RBAC read all permission and then click on add it so right now I have provided all the read all permissions related to windows device you can modify these as per your requirement because I am going to use these permission for all of my automation that's why I added all the required read only permissions so that in future I can use the same uh, Intune reporting app to configure my other reportings then we have to make sure that we click on the grant admin access for Chandramani Dabo lab and then click yes now we can see that all the apps are now approved and granted by the admins now api permission part is done next we have to create a certificates and secret where we have to create a new secret here we have to provide the description i'm just going to provide the intune reporting app and you can configure the expiry of this client secret as per your requirement but for now i am okay with 180 days which is six months and then click on add and then we can see that the client secret is generated make sure that we immediately copy the value information otherwise in some time this value is going to be masked so i'm going to just click on copy and then we have to save it let me save this information client secret now the app registration is completed and we can use the intune reporting app for automation purpose now the next step is to download the required powershell scripts so i have already downloaded the scripts in my download folder and i will upload these two scripts in the github location and i will also provide the link in the description section so let me open this script and within that script we have to configure the user input section so we have to provide the from to cc smtp server port and priority so for demo purpose i am using my gmail server in your case you can configure this to use your on-premises smtp server and then we need to update the tenant id client id and the client secret for that i am going to copy it in a notepad file and i am going to save it so client secret we already created and saved in the notepad file i am going to update it in my script options then we need a client id and the tenant id so to find the tenant id we have to go to the application and then go to the overview and here we can find the application client id we have to copy it and we have to update the information in the notepad file so this is my client id and now we need a tenant id for that we have to go to the overview of the microsoft enter admin center portal and then we can find the tenant information this is my tenant information i am going to copy it and i am going to save it that is already same so let me again copy it and then we have to copy all this information and then we have to replace it with the these three informations now we need to update the working folder in my case i want to create a folder under temp folder and the folder name is windows 11 reports if you want to modify the location you just need to change this location and then the final report is available under the working folder which is c temp windows 11 report and then the file name is windows 11 compliance report csv now we have to run this script but before running this script make sure that we have microsoft graph intune module installed so for that i am going to run the module manually i 
I am going to open a PowerShell as an admin and then going to run the script. It's going to download and install the Microsoft Graph Intune module which is required to fetch the report from the Intune. Now we have to press yes and enter. Y again. And now we can see that the Microsoft Graph Intune module installed successfully. Now we have to run the script. I am going to select all and then run the script. Now the script executed successfully. Let me first explain the script. So this entire script is divided into three phase. In the very first phase, it's going to export the Intune device term. We can see that it's checking whether the Microsoft Graph Intune module install or not. Like in our case, we manually install the Graph Intune module before running this script. That is why it's saying that Microsoft Graph Intune is already installed. And now then it's going to import the Microsoft Graph Intune module and then it's going to initiate an export job to download the Intune dump and we can see the Intune dump is automatically saved in this location. Then in the second phase it's going to generate the Windows 11 compliant dashboard where we can see the overall status and the operating system wise percentage share. Like we can see that in my environment I have 7 devices out of which 2 devices is on Windows 11 and the percentage share is 28.57% and the total non windows 11 device is 5 where the percentage is 71.443 and the windows 11 percentage share of the compliance is 28.57 we can also see the operating system wise percentage share like two devices on windows 11 and this is the percentage three devices on 22h2 and this is the percentage two devices is on windows 10 2004 and the percentage is this and then in the third phase, it's going to send the email notification and we can see that the mail successfully sent to the two and the CC mail ID and Windows 10 11's compliant dashboard report is available at this location. And if we go to this location, we are able to see the report. Let me first go to this location and show you the report. So to do this, we have to go to the C drive and then we have a temp folder within that we have a windows 11 folder and now we can see that we have a report now let me show you the email notification also which we get in our mail so to do this i am going to open my gmail account we can see that we have a mail with the subject line windows 11 compliance dashboard and report and if we click on that we we can see that day remaining is 743 to reach to this date october 14 2025 which is the end of life date for windows 10 and the overall status where total device is 7 and device on windows 11 is 2 device below windows 11 is 5 and the overall percentage compliance is 28.57 we are also getting the operating system wise percentage share like for windows 11 we have two devices which is already on windows 11 and the compliance percentage is 28.57 and for windows 10 operating system we can see that the device count the date end of life date and the percentage share and the day remaining to reach end of life the same thing we can see for all operating system and then we can see the attachment also if we open this attachment we will see the same thing like device name device id serial number ownership type operating system version and the user upn last check-in days joint type manufacturer model managed by sku family then total storage free storage build number build os and the end of life date now let's see we how we can automate this using a task scheduler so to do this we have to run a powershell command to create a task scheduler let me first open the second powershell which we downloaded from the github and the task scheduler in this task scheduler we have to modify the user input section the task name windows 11 compliance dashboard and the description windows 11 compliance dashboard and reports email subscription using powershell and the script location in my case i am using c temp windows 11 report and then this is the reporting location so let me first copy the script in that location so i am going to copy it 
and then save it to the C drive temp and then within that I am going to paste it and then I am just pressing shift and then copy as path and then and then we have to update this entire thing and then click yes that's all you have to modify in the Tashular script and this is a schedule every day 9 am this Tashular will trigger and it's going to send the email in the mailbox so i'm just selecting all and then clicking on run you can see that task scheduler created successfully let me open the task scheduler and within the task scheduler we have to click on the task schedule library and we can see that we have a task called windows 11 compliance dashboard and this is scheduled to trigger on every day 9 am morning so let me run this task scheduler so, so that we can ensure that it's working as expected but before that let me delete the mail from my mailbox so that we can ensure that we are getting a mail now i am going to run this so to run it i am going to click on run and it is running and after some time we will get a mail notification in my mailbox now we can see that the task scheduler executed successfully and we should have a mail in our mailbox yes we can see that we have a mail in our mailbox and we can see that the same thing whatever i discussed few minutes back so that's all i want to show you in this video let me know in the comment section if this automation is useful to track the upgrade of your windows 10 to windows 11 and i will see you soon in my next intune reporting automations video series i hope this is an informative video for you Thank you very much for watching this video.